morning kids! I'm going to share a breakfast that is Ryan and Scarlett's favorites. They requested it this morning and I thought might as well make a video. So I'm actually doubling the recipe and I think a lot of you would like to as well if you have families, but I'll put both the singleton recipe and the doubled recipe below. You'll need eggs, flour, milk, cinnamon, brown sugar, butter, pie tins, and possibly an apple or you can do um, lemon and powdered sugar. We're making what our family calls apple puffkas. Other people call them Dutch babies or Dutch pancakes. They're really simple and delicious and there's not that much bad stuff in them. Just a little bit of butter for you, a little tiny bit of sugar for you. Okay, I'll show you how we do it. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Then gently beat the eggs, just break them up a little bit. You don't need to worry too much about getting them incorporated because we're going to add the other ingredients and we don't want to overbeat them. Beat in the flour. I forgot to mention you do want to add a dash of salt. Even when I double the recipe, I still only do about a fourth of a teaspoon, maybe a tiny bit more. Once you've added in the milk, flour, and salt, just mix it together until it's well incorporated. Don't worry about it being lumpy. You don't want to overbeat the mixture. Now take your pie tins and put them in the preheated oven and melt the butter. My pie tins are a little sad looking, but that's okay. Once your butter is melted, just coat the bottom of your pie tin. Make sure you don't melt it for too long, otherwise you're going to burn it. Now if you want to make the lemon and powdered sugar version, then you are basically done. You're just going to add your mixture into your pie tins and you're going to bake for 25 to 30 minutes, depending on your altitude and oven and all that. And then top with squeezed lemon and powdered sugar when you're done. So you don't even have to worry about the extra sugar there. But I'm going to do the apple version, so I'm going to lay a little ring of apples on the bottom and then coat with cinnamon and the brown sugar. I used my one rinky dink apple to coat the bottom too. So I've got my cinnamon and my brown sugar on top of the melted butter in my pie tins. If I was just doing the lemon version, it would be just the melted butter and now I'm going to evenly disperse the mixture on top of the two. Another thing that makes me happy about this recipe is this is my entire set of dishes. I love that. And here they are, fresh out of the oven. They will be really puffy and then kind of sink. This one is slowly sinking down here. Now, you can also do them savory, like you can add feta cheese and sun-dried tomatoes and spinach or kale or anything you like. So these are kind of a crowd pleaser, and they're delicious. <laughs>